What's up, nerds? In this week's Earth Day episode spectacular, we're going to learn how to take trash and turn it into energy. Roll the intro. We haven't done the intro yet? We haven't done the intro. So there's no intro. So what do we cut to? Fine, we'll do it live. Cut. Go. All right, physics fans, a little background info for you. A few years ago, I was reading the books. It's like Netflix, but for your brain. The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind, a book about a kid from Africa who makes a working wind turbine out of stuff that he finds and junk. And I was like, why can't we do that? And obviously we can, we just got to think a little bit outside the box. So a project was born. Um, and so I kind of started it off. First thing I did was take apart um, a, an old CD disc man. And here's a little motor to that. And then I got some tape and a glue gun and like a can and all this stuff. And I just threw it all together. And then you throw it all together and you get an actual working windmill. Um, so not too terribly difficult if we think about it. So after reading the book and making a windmill of my own, I started to think about what we could do that may be a little bit more interesting. I use my recycling bins that I keep in class all the time and they just kind of build up. And I was like, hey, let's reuse. Um, because in our we love things, reduce, reuse, recycle. Recycle is the last thing. So we're gonna reuse it and then recycle it. But if we can reduce, even better. Anyway, so they're using recyclables and anything they can find in the trash or recycling or whatever. Uh, and they're gonna use that to make their water wheel and hook it up to motors. So a motor and a generator are the same basic principle. If we use voltage to turn a motor, or to send electric current through, it'll turn the magnet inside the motor. But if we flip it around, turn the motor, which spins the magnet inside, generating voltage. And we're gonna attach this to the water wheels um, and we're gonna run it down this cool contraption that I have right here. So let's take a look at what's gonna happen. I'm gonna pour buckets of water down this thing and the water wheel has to handle the pressure and the quantity of water that's going to happen as it goes down here. Before we get started, let's go outside, collect some materials and help Mother Earth. Ah! We've got trash. Uh, I'm gonna sort that in a little bit into recycling and actual trash, and it's not gonna be in our environment. It'll be in a landfill, which is, well, better than just floating out there in the environment. So now it's my student's job to turn the trash and the recycling into energy. So trash to energy, let's see what they did. It was really super fun to watch the collaborative work, despite the fact that they were all working on their own individual one. We had people helping people and students helping students. Um, oh, did you try this? Hey, we should try that kind of stuff. So it was great to see that. It was great to see some original designs. Um, it was great to see some, maybe not some original designs. And the really cool part was seeing the students uh, really interested about which designs made the most voltage um, and, and produced the most electricity. So that was really cool. 
Anna Kendrick and Zach Efron were going to be here for a little Zoom meeting, but the internet dropped out just before I was recording this, so we'll have to reschedule at another point. If you enjoy uh, content like this, creativity and science and STEM and stuff like that, please hit subscribe or at least like, uh, especially if you've made it this long into the video. Um, other than that, love you. Bye. Are you serious? There's no outro either. We haven't done the outro. There's no outro. God, when are we gonna? Here's a cool little experiment. If I put this in here, it won't spin fast enough to generate the motor, but if I use a rubber band, like a transmission or a gear ratio, and do it this way, then the light lights up.